our first rough travel day. Probably as many. Been. There's probably been a couple. There's probably going to be a couple more. We this one fully, ended okay, though. Yeah, we haven't fully made it, though, so. True. Knock on wood. I have no idea how we made it. Turns out this airport is kind of like a ghost town after midnight, so the rich crawled out everywhere. The food court is just packed with people, but there's nothing open. So we're just gonna go try to work as much as we can, then we're gonna sleep. And then when the lounge opens at 6 a.m., hopefully it's open, we'll get some food and then catch our flight at 7. So we're boarding this little spot here. Because of this. This is the non-glamorous part about traveling. Sometimes you're sitting underneath a telephone on the tower at 1 a.m. Is it your freezing? Because of that? I have some good news. What? Just kidding, it's bad news. Our flight was canceled. Yeah. No, I'm serious. Seconds, so I can't get in touch with the airline to find out if they are flying another flight today. Um, for our other, like we booked it to the third party, like, and they said civil unrest is not covered. So I'm just gonna book another flight, and it's only a hundred dollars to get there for one flight, so it's not too bad. So I'm trying to set up the account on Hopper right now to finish that. So hopefully we're in better status today. Silver pile of bags and stuff. And we're still in Santiago. We have no idea what we're doing. This is the fifth gate change. But good news there's a plane. Maybe we'll actually get it. That is not our gate. Air, major air. Our flight is delayed yet again, and Jenna is cleaning and organizing. I think something, something snapped. <laughs> yes, right in the middle of the airport. We got seats on the 12 o'clock, well the 1 o'clock delayed flight times. Yeah, you're on the 5th 
Gracias. But well, we made it, and we made it with our bags again. I have no idea how we're doing. I am so relieved right now. I slept one hour last night. Actually, not even one hour. Like 30 minutes. We just made it through immigration and now we're about to catch our Uber and go to the Airbnb. I think we figured out how to get in. We were like pressing a bunch of buttons and nothing was happening and our Airbnb host is like just press 9A. And we're like, we are. <laughs> yeah. We had trail mix for dinner last night. We had coffee and pizza for breakfast this morning. And it's time for some real food. Got it? No. <laughs> I'm so confused. Well, we're going somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. The light is on. Okay. Uh, the elevator really wants us to get out on two, so we're gonna get out on two. Alright, we're just taking this one step at a time. We can blame it on the lack of sleep. My first impression of this city is that it's very green. Or is that Jen's first impression? I second that. <laughs> And everybody's in here not watching soccer, which is pretty good. So we just got our drinks. They gave me an orange juice and I didn't I don't think I ordered an orange juice and they gave Elliot an entire bottle. So good. 